the open sea, the sudden sea, the silent sea. Seth, good evening. How's it going? I just finished eating dinner really quick. Had myself a can of chicken noodle soup. I basically inhaled it. Retro game night indeed. So I thought I'd start uh, experimenting with Tuesdays and Thursday nights as a an opportunity to play through games that I have uh, in the library. Now I do have a physical copy of this with a Super Nintendo, but I thought it would be easier and more interesting to try it on the SNES Classic. I know this game like the back of my hand. Like that. Know it like that. Top three NES, SNES game in Yoshi's Island. Hard agree. Absolutely. Also, welcome, Cody. This is my top game right here. Um, which is followed so closely by like an actual hair by Chrono Trigger. Then I would go with Yoshi's Island for sure. There's a This system is full of incredible, incredible games. So, yeah, I figured tonight we dig into two hours of Super Mario RPG, see how far I can get, because I, again, I know this game like the back of my hand, so going through this will be nothing. No difficulty for me, no siree. I used to have the player's guide. Oh, the emote went through. Oh, great. So, yeah, that is a, uh, that is a fan art made by Spunky Nugget of my logo, but with tentacle arms. So. <laughs> there we go. New game. I don't think it'll do my whole name. Grizzla. Grizzla will do. So, starts off with the music from Mario Brothers 3, Grassland. Something is wrong. So very wrong. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Do you know I've never played that game? <clears throat> but, of course, agree with everything else on the list. I've heard it's really good. But I have not played it. I think it's something I should play on the stream at some point. That and Super Metroid I never played on the Super Nintendo. So this was also my first RPG. And so going from... Going from, like, platformer games to this was a... It was a leap. <laughs> I had no idea what I was getting into. And it's such, like, an interesting collaboration. You do own a physical copy and it's a stellar co-op. Okay. Yeah, Zombies Ate My Neighbors... Uh, Super Metroid and Goof Troop are three that I want to play. I have a physical copy of Goof Troop, but uh, that's awesome that you got a physical copy. I'm sure that those go for really high on eBay. Did I tell you folks uh, that I have a 
physical copy of Mega Man X3, which is like one of the most expensive games on secondary market. It's a lot. So this battle blew my 11-year-old mind. Like, holy shit. The color, the color choices, the music of, like, the Mario Brothers 3 Battle of Bowser, except, like, jacked up. Don't let Bowser, Bowser bruise you, Mario. Mario, prepare yourself for the great beyond. And so you can fight Bowser, but eventually he stops taking damage. And you will lose, so the trick in this one is to destroy the Kink Link. Which in this game is essentially a Chain Chomp holding up a chandelier. Aim for the Chain- I'm aiming! So you've got... every All your actions are based around the Super Nintendo controller. So you've got uh, the B button for extras, defending, and then running away. So... That's defending. Then A is the standard attack. Y is a special attack, which uses flower points, which, of course, anybody who's played the later games would recognize. And then X is items. So. Yeah, the correct, the correct option here is to attack Kink Link. It's a chain reaction! Hang on, Kink Link! Yeah! Coming, Mario? Fight, Mario! Fight! This should finish you! And so, somehow, they end up falling equally at the same time? Mwahaha! <laughs> Did you think I was just gonna give her to you? You're always in my way! This is it! I'm gonna take you out, Mario! Funga! Foiled again. I almost wish there was, like, another... I'm not almost. I wish that there was, like, a second fight happening on the falling chandeliers. Um, it's kind of done in reverse in Chrono Trigger when you're going in the Ocean Palace. Oh, Mario, you had me so worried. Let's get out of here. Mario! I'm going to fall! Whatever could it be, Squaresoft? Not Square Enix, because they didn't merge yet. So this is 1996. This game came out the same year as Super Mario 64. This is like such a... Such a last hurrah for the Super Nintendo. You go from Mario World and Link, Zelda Link to the Past to using pre-rendered 3D sprites. And looking superb. This the only good RPG to play? Mm -hmm. Steph, have you played Chrono Trigger? Because... Chrono Trigger is incredible. So this is Mario's house in this, uh, in this game. The Pipe House. With an absurdly large, large not chimney. You're not really the RPG type of gamer. Oh, okay, I get it. This is also like a good hybrid of platforming and RPGs. So. <clears throat> hey, Mario, lots of people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. Anyway, I came by to pick up Toadstool since she's a bit late. I could do the Toad voice, but it will destroy my vocal cords. So, we got Mario's house here. Uh, that's a light. So you can use that to go to sleep and replenish your HP if you want. And then you can walk around in all eight directions, which for... You know, at the time, was a mi was just mind-blowing for me. So, got the save block, this is how you save. And Mario's pad. Hey, I thought the princess was here with you, Mario. So, where is she? And I'm just, like, not even looking at him. 
Mario, what's with the silent treatment? You're not telling me something. It's Bowser again, isn't it? Oh no, here we go again. Mario, would you please bring her back like you always do? Why, why, I'd be happy to. And Mario is uh, silent throughout this whole game. A giant talking sword? Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser? This castle now belongs to us, the Smithy Gang. It's our first step towards taking over this world. And if it weren't for nosy characters like you, we'd practically own this world! So let's see you deal with this! Who knew by excessive, uh, uh, jaw clamping you could destroy an entire bridge? Who knew a m several hundred foot tall sword could talk? So then there's Vista Hill, and so obviously can't go to the castle anymore. Gonna have to go the long way around! You're back so soon! Did you forget something? No? What happened then? And then this is how Mario talks throughout the games. He pantomimes everything. Sometimes defying gravity, sometimes transforming into other characters. The bridge to Bowser's Keep is out now? Just wonderful. We must inform the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom at once! Let's go, Mario. So it's like a very slow easing in to the platforming and the dialogue and the plot. It's uh, it's like a nice, just smooth... There's no... There's no... Uh, like the curve is very gentle. So as you're about to... So this is how you leave, of course. Hey, thanks for the hosting, Seth. Oops, excuse me. Oh, that bump on your head reduced your HP level. One of Mushroom Kingdom's famous items ought to perk you right up. Received a mushroom. Do you know how to use items? I have no idea. <clears throat> then please allow me. In order to use items, open up the menu screen. With it, you can check your status and coin count. Push X to open it. So we got our menu here. This is the menu. Use this to equip or use items. Choose item, then press A. This is your item list. Read about items here. To use a mushroom, point here and push A. Behold, it moves to Mario. Push A again to use it, or push B to cancel. Give it a try. See? You recovered your HP. And that's how it's done. Now, you can get a boost whenever you're feeling tired. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. Ah, I remember! I came to warn you that Mushroom Way is swarming with monsters. I just barely made it back here in one piece. Mario, please do something. Perhaps I can help. Do you know about time tits? No. Okay, allow me to explain. First, we'll enter a battle. First, push A. Push A again to attack. Wait a second. Hit A again here. Good timing. When successful, your attack changes and damage increases. Hit A prior to attack too. Oh, it's A. Okay. I've been hitting B for 25 years. This can help you decrease the amount of damage done to you. See, I wouldn't do the tutorial. This is why I'm doing the tutorial now. Here's the new game Valorant. It has 1.6 million viewers on Twitch with someone having 208,000 viewers off its release. I have not heard of Valorant. That's a large... That's a lot of viewers. Valorant. Valorant. Riot Games is competitive 5v5 character-based FPS. Oh, okay. Yeah, if, that's not surprising that an F, that a new FPS like that would really take off. Those are those are pretty big on Twitch. Fortnite. Well, well not FP. Well, Fortnite's not FPS. It won't always work though. 
<clears throat> now try a special strike. Push Y here. Your attack will be more powerful. Learn special skills as you gain experience. They're on the menu. <laughs> Read about them, okay? Surprising number seeing it have that many viewers off its release. I mean, like, you know, uh, new games get very popular on Twitch. Animal Crossing is all over the place. And there you are. Now at least you have a fighting chance against those monsters. Uh, now why did I rush back? I had something to tell you. That's right! We need to tell the Chancellor about Toadstool. Because she's not named Peach yet. I'll see you over at Mushroom Kingdom. Just in case, take these with you. Three mushrooms. What a, what a guy. What a bro. What a pal giving me three mushrooms that I'm never going to need. Just free money. I personally think it won't last too long with the numbers like the other games. I mean, yeah, it, you know, it'll it'll be really popular for a hot minute, and then it'll balance out, since most games do that. So, this is the first area where you're entirely on your own. So I will make quick work. I gotta learn how to time those defenses. See, it's like on every frame, you can change how much damage you're going to deal. Every frame. There we go. Well, that was a perfect battle. I know there's mods of this game that are much harder, and they require absolutely perfect timing. And they also take forever to fight through. This game looks interesting to have an RPG at this time. Uh, you know, it was... It was such a fascinating collaboration between Squaresoft and Nintendo. Like... I think there's a Did You Know Gaming about this. Uh, and I think there's like also like another like history behind the game as well. And the main things I remember aren't, aren't that exciting. But... When they were... Uh, when Nintendo and Squaresoft were working on it, Nintendo was like, we don't want Mario to have a sword or use guns. And so, that, apparently, like, that request changed the entire dynamic of what this game was going to be, and so they based it around Mario's already existing attacks, which is how we get the jump and the, um, Uh, the jump and the um, and the regular hit, and then eventually other items that we get. So just have it be a Mario game. Yeah, it was like they wanted a they wanted an RPG, but they wanted Nintendo wanted an RPG. As did, of course, uh, Squaresoft, because they were very well known at the time for that. Wow. Yeah, these guys are tough on, on the punches. And then Toad gets stuck uh, in every area of Mushroom Way, and if you rescue him, uh, you get... You get a reward. Phew! My life was flashing before my eyes for a second there. Here's a little something in return. So, a honey syrup, which I absolutely need right now. Actually, I need both things, so... Honey si So the syrups will restore flowers in this game. So there's honey syrup, and then maple syrup, which is the one I use the most. And then royal syrup. Nothing out of nowhere. <laughs> there we go. So in this game, there is a level cap of 30. And 
I typically focus entirely on Mario's attacks. I use his specials sometimes, but he's a hard hitter. And since he is always in the party, it's beneficial to, to focus on his attack. So there's three things you can, that, as you saw there, you can change, you can improve um, his attack and defense, his special attack and defense, and his hit points. And my perspective was always, why bother with the hit points? Because if you have good defense and offense, you're not going to need it. There's a block over there. Okay. Oh! Koopa Troopa. And then, of course, your stats go up with levels anyway. There are going to be problems with Mar having Mario be a glass cannon. A glass cannon? I can't say I've ever heard of that phrase. What, is, what does that mean? Just like... Like, I got an idea as to what it means. Okay, I wanted to go here. There we go. Get Toad on the second. Extremely powerful, but easy to destroy. That makes sense, Glass Cannon. Okay, so with this game, that's very, you know, that's a, that's a true statement, but with this game, I guess, like, over time, uh, I've been able to avoid having problems, unless I'm underleveled. High damage, no defense, HP. Okay, well, thank you for the explanation, both of you. But, uh... Eventually, in this game, you become... It's very easy to, uh... Keep you healthy. Keep you fighting. Oh, there we go. How far am I... How far away am I from leveling? 20? Oh, that's too much. Level 2? Yeah, that's good enough. Hey! You looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. Mario, you better be careful. He's definitely got a mean streak. Now you got my hammer angry. You shouldn't have done that. Turns out there's two of us. And we're both from Brooklyn. Hammer time. Boy, yeah, they're doing a number on me. There we go. I'm getting the timing down. Oh no, I played the Super Mario Deluxe and Hammer Brothers, and were always difficult. So when you defeat the first Hammer Brother here, uh, the second one increases his defense. Which would be a problem if I didn't attack both of them already. They have a HP of 50. So I just need to hit them once and that was good. Thanks, Mario. I was running so fast I wasn't watching where I was going. Mushroom Kingdom's just ahead. We're almost there, Mario. Hey, where did this hammer come from? Hmm. Hey, do you know what this is? It has the Hammer Bros insignia on it. No one stands a chance against you when you whop him with this. You never know. It might come in handy. Picked up a hammer. Let's get a move on. I'll see you in Mushroom Kingdom. Alright, so here is the Mushroom Kingdom in glorious, glorious, pre-rendered 3D graphics. 
So first things first, we'll talk to... There's a gentleman behind the house here. That horrible crocodile. And wearing crocodile skin shoes, no less. Has he no shame? You never learn who this is. It's implied that it's your brother. Luigi. But you never actually see him. All I do is cook and clean. Okay. Hey Mario, my brother's waiting for you upstairs. I just jump up the stairs. Hmm? One, two, three. Think if I practice enough, I'll jump as high as you, Mario? Sure. Yeah! And if you... Uh, so he's moving really fast. And you can jump on top of characters. So this happens. I haven't seen Princess Toadstool lately. What? Bowser's got her again? Hey, Mario, look what you're standing in. Ha! Gotcha. Hey, did you just see a crocodile around here? He talks like a mobster wannabe. I'm sure he's up to no good. Hey, wait a sec. My wallet's gone. Oh, no. He, he might need help. Say, hey, so uh, Raz and Rainy are a couple that you talk to throughout the game. Say, hey, Mario, guess what? Rainy isn't just a friend anymore. We're getting married. Do you happen to know of a good wedding chapel? So we will see them later in the game. That was a nice little Easter egg. Mario, let's say you and I get hitched in a few years, okay? Just give me time to grow into my mother's wedding dress. I hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Always getting captured by giant lizards, yes. So nice to see our young ones having a good time. A lot of creepy looking thugs have been sneaking into town. Not on my watch! Oh, yeah. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get off of there this minute. That's all right. I'm here for something else. I order you to stand before me. I now order you to jump. Would you kindly? In this world, there are things called hidden treasures. Use your awesome jumping ability to look for them. So there are two in here. He's going to lead you right to the second one. And I believe there's a third one up here. I think. I could be wrong. I just get in trouble for being up here, I think. I have to wait until he's actually gone. Mario, what a pleasant surprise! <laughs> one of Frog Fuchsius's grandchildren is running errands in town today. I haven't seen him, though. Oh, you're here to shop? What are you looking for? So this is where you can start finally buying items, uh, you know, we're familiar with these. Pick me up as if you, uh, faint. Able juice as if you get a status deflection. Shirt, pants, introducing armor. And then, uh, accessories. So, uh, I'm gonna pick up a shirt and I'm gonna pick up jump shoes. The jump shoes are super useful because there are enemies in the game that you cannot jump on. And the jump shoes let you bypass that. I did not equip the hammer for a good reason. Oh yeah, and for other places to save, uh, inns always have a save point. Oh, shut up. Don't talk to me now. Oh, shut up. Oh, now look, I lost because of you. Any other games you may play on stream? Oh god, everything. I have a list of a few hundred games that I am interested in playing on this stream. Absolutely. 
Um, I am looking for something very specific. Give me just a second. I'm going to show you something. And this is why the SNES Classic is actually really good for this. saved because there is a hidden treasure in the very first hallway here and if you mess it up you don't get it again um, and so this is where a save state is actually pretty useful um, come to think of it though I did just save uh, did I do anything on Animal Crossing off stream no not really uh, Melba was sick so I got her some medicine and that's about it Okay, I, I did just save, so I'm going to give this a shot. Mario, there you are. I'll tell Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. So you have to... There we go. Nailed it on the first try. So there is a frog coin up here. If you miss this, that's it. You never get it again. I'm guarding the treasure room. Sorry, but you have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. Yeah, I did save her, and then she uh, then she sneezed on me. She's like, I hope you don't get it. And I'm like, oh, gee, thanks. Guess I'll find out in a couple weeks. Sir, Mario has arrived. All right. Gotta work on the... Gotta work on the, on the mustache. He's, the chancellor in this one is mustachioed. <laughs> Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud, I almost dropped my spores. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? Where, where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. Hmm. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind, be behind all this? Could he be behind? Has he seen my behind? Again, pantomiming. Spores alive! You're telling us that Bowser has abducted the princess again? Never mind. It will be up to you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Toadstool. God, the keep is unassailable? What awful power is at work here? Mario, her life is in your hands. Please save our dear princess. Oh, Mario, there's something important I need to discuss with you. That hammer you got, you've equipped it, right? You're all set for your journey? <laughs> Shall I have Toad explain the process? Yes, please. You will equip things using the menu. Please press the X button. First, choose equip. Confirm with A. You can equip these. To equip the hammer, select the top slot, then push A. Then select the hammer and push A again. You're done. Let's try it again. Now you try it. Perfect. Perfect. There, now I feel more at ease. Now it's all up to you. Mario! I almost forgot. This may not help you, but why don't you take it along? Got a map. Mario! Oh dear, he's got a concussion. Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the cellar and prepare for your journey. The vault guard shall assist you. So now I can go into the vault. There's, there's a couple, couple of goodies. A couple of goodness of goodness things. Good things of goodness. Mario, the Chancellor's filled me in. Come, let me show you around. So there's the mushroom that restores your hit points and flower points. Unfortunately, mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP, so beware. 
This is a coin. The small ones are worth one and the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten. Ten, 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 ten. This is a flower. The more, you a flower. the more you gather, the more flower points you'll have in battle. Find them. So yeah, I found a couple. I also have the flower tab, which increases by one, and the flower jar, which increases by three. So now we've almost doubled the amount of flowers that I have. Alright, so you notice, like, when I left, there's a... It's a very interesting angle, which is meant to introduce this story. Come back here! Come back here! <sighs> Failure! No, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin. Boo-hoo, Sniffle. I can't cry, big boys don't cry, but it's just not fair. What am I gonna do? Ah! And he literally causes it to rain. De <clears throat> defeat. Yes? Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? And then he can make the rain stop. I'm alright now. Sorry, there's nothing like a good cry. Truth. But why was I crying? There was some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. Wow, he has a stand of chance. Wow, you're THE Mario? I know all about you. You got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tadpole Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Sure thing. <clears throat> the young frog Mallow, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mario on his in his quest. Not on, but in. I have 15 coins, so that is enough to get him set up with a pair of pants. So we'll talk to the uh, shopkeep. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this, you see. Wait, I've already heard. Old Frog Fuchsia's told me. He seems to know everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, the truth of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mario here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mario's on your t team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. Gotta pick me up. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? So, yeah, pants. He needs the antidote pin, but I don't have enough for that. Um. Even if I sell everything, it's not going to be enough to get... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I'm still short. I do want to get him an antidote pin, but it's going to have to wait. I saw him! He's here somewhere! He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly. He's the one who took my coin. Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home? Sheesh, give me a break here. Come back here. <laughs> Use mugs will never catch me. A snail could outrun you morons. Later. That's him. Hurry, Mario, let's get him. Alright, so now we're in Bandit's Way. Mario's miming is hilarious. It's good stuff. There he is. He probably stashed it in that bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tail me? Go on home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. Alright, so now we're going to make use of the enemies here and level up a bit. So we've got Goomba, Spiky, and the new, and the new enemy, Frogog, which is just, I don't know, a frog and an ogre? 
maybe? And so for Mallow, his attack is really weak, but he is best using his special. So we're going to rely on that heavily. Because of that. Only two far flower points and clears the room. Clears the room quicker than a poof after eating Taco Bell. Yeah, when I had this, when I originally bought this game, I should say bought, I think I got it for my birthday. That sounds right. It was down to... My mom gave me a choice. She was like, I know you want these games, but I need you to pick one. And it was between Super Mario RPG and Donkey Kong Country 3. I made the right choice, of course. I love this game. I ended up picking up Donkey Kong Country 3 like a couple of years later when eBay was first taking off. And it's a good game in its own right. A little different from the other two, but... Uh, super... Kapow! <laughs> nice. The, uh... Super Nintendo games back in... the ancient times of the 1990s were much more expensive, adjusted for inflation. This game, brand new, was like $70, I think. It might have been even 80 in 1996 money, which is basically almost twice as much. So it would have been roughly about $145 adjusted. You couldn't jump to save your life, kids, so I guess this is a goodbye. Hippity hoppity coin. So yeah, as evidenced from Mushroom Way, these flowers give me the boost I need. Let's, uh, let's fight one of these doggos. The K-9. Oh, perfect. Uh, we're gonna defend. Save the... Save the flower points. Okay, and if I remember correctly, there is a hidden block here. No. Is there? Maybe I'm thinking of another room. No. Hmm. There it is. I knew it. The Caro Caro Cola. Which, re you recover everything. They're great. Oh, you're a persistent bugger, but I'm 100 miles ahead of you. Watch me go. Not even a mile ahead. Pathetic. Alright, so when I mention that Mallow has a really weak attack, I'm going to prove it. Wow! Way to uh, subvert my expectations there, Mallow. Subverted. He shouldn't have been able to hit that hard. Level 3! Mario learns Fire Orb. Oh yeah! But attack! I must attack. Mallow will protect. So yeah, getting up to level 3 was important because Krako is weak to fire. Weak 
attack. Yeah, I, you know, I just... Mm. I assure you, Mal's attack game is weak. I didn't even give him his pants yet. Shameful. See, I see this dog here. He's like, no, you cannot have what's in here. And I'm like, too bad. See you later, bud. Alright, so in that treasure chest is an invincibility star. And in this game, it allows you to defeat enemies without going into battle. So here we go. I said, here we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. No, 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 no. Stay away from me, dogs. Doggos, now's not the time. Doggos, I'm, I'm, I'm figuring this out. There we go. Come on. So, it's a good way to clear the room. Level 3, Mal learns HP Rain. Now all the mushrooms are essentially useless. Unless Mallow dies, then it would be a problem, I suppose. Okay, well anyway, there's another chest here. So we're gonna go through the painstakingly slow process of moving the tiles to get a flower. Absolutely worth it. Dead end, then they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. So here's the thing about this. You can usually see where he is. But if you are too slow after seeing him... What's this, you fools? Go chase down a pumpkin. So you sneak up on him. If you wait too long, he will turn around. Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. So if I wait too long, then he turns around. Your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you 50 more years to catch me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh! Missed it by a hair. Oh. Okay. Doesn't get harder or anything. There we go. You again? This is getting old. It'll still take you... Enough, you got me fair and square. I'll give you, I'll give you back your coin. Whoa, did you really believe me? I was lying. All right. Time to make short work of this jerk. So for Fire Orb, you hit Y repeatedly. Youch! So we're going to put Mallow in defense. Croco's dowsing a tail fire. Hard. I'll just heal myself. So he goes ahead and heals himself for 60. And if you time it just right, you can get a freebie for any item. Eh, yeah, let's slug him anyway. 
for two whole hit two whole points of damage. That hit really hard. And that's the end of the battle. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again. Ouch! I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Go on. Take back your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. I mean, Mallow, I had one the entire time. We didn't have to get this one back. All right, we got it back. And a flower tab for our troubles. Yeah, we did it. Is it supposed to be yay? Although yay is Y-A-Y. But yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. That Krakow guy left a wallet. I think he took his wallet. That guy took his wallet. I think he took his wallet. Oh, yeah. The music is superb uh, when you win a battle. All right, so we'll just head back to Mushroom Kingdom where everything is hunky-dory, except everything's not hunky-dory. <clears throat> Shy guys on sword trampolines called shysters. They each have 30 hit points. Good enough. Thanks, Mario. I'll continue to stay on watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. By the way, look what I found. Ten coins. Heck yeah. Alright, so... I could have sworn there was a hidden... Oh, maybe I'm misremembering. Please leave the correct amount of money for the items, manager. So we'll buy an antidote pin for Mallow. And that should be... I think I only have one... No, I got two honey syrups. We'll get three just to be sure. And so I tend to save everybody in town before I take on the boss. Only 28. Oh man, we gotta get your. We gotta get Mal hit up to up up a level. Level four, I think. That was too darn close. Thanks for the hand, Mario. Hey, that's the wall the crocodile swipe for me. Can I have it back? Sure. Thank you so much. Here, I give you this as a reward. Go on, now take it. There we go. Both level three, hitting level four and five, nine. Okay, that's actually healthy. That's good. Uh, they should all be inside. So nice to see our young ones having a good time, even with a lot of terrorizing creatures. It's scary outside, so let's play indoors, all right? But I want to play outside! Oh, wow.
Ooh, ouch. I gotta learn the timing on that drain. That really hurts. Alright, level four. Heck yeah, yeah. Hey, Mario, look what you... Uh, yes, you're welcome. Happy to have saved you from... Then again, he didn't seem too, too afraid of it. He seemed more like he was just fascinated, mesmerized. Was the princess kidnapped by those things outside? Are they a part of this? I will crash for three coins. I'll sleep amidst all the terror. Yes, I was here the whole time. See, I'm wide awake. I guess it's time for me to win big cash. Okay. That guy is not okay. So you see, this uh, this shyster is jumping on the house. If you go inside. Yeah, she's right. I guess we can put it off until things cool down around here. What's she right about? I found the perfect place for a wedding, but now we're all stuck inside. A toad with a gambling addiction. Yeah, yeah. Mallow, are you seriously like one eight one you know, one XP away? Are you kidding me? The audacity of this not frog. And once in a great while, these flowers, um, when you defeat an enemy, uh, if you're lucky, will grant you a bonus HP max is self-explanatory, restores your HP. Uh, sometimes you get lucky, which will give you uh, a chance to go double or nothing on your experience points or your coins. There, level four. Finally, welcome to the party, Mallow. There are things in our kitchen, help! All I do is cook and clean. Look, scary things, get rid of them! Oh, my little brother is okay. Let's take care of the little brother first. Boing, boing, boing. Now this guy can jump. So, of course, when you fight indoors, you get the indoor... Uh, <laughs> battle background, which is one of my favorites in this whole game. Uh, let's save that for the next fight. What's he got to say now? I can still jump the highest. Alright, we're going to test out Mallow's Thunderbolt. Hmm, not bad. 30? Yeah! Oh, okay, now we're in business. Now we are in business! <clears throat> Mallow the Cleaner. Mario can chill. Ah, honey syrup for my troubles. Oh, and hit my desk. Thanks, Mario. Here's a little token of my appreciation. And just thanks all around. Okay, so I'm going to avoid fighting those guys because they just keep coming out. I think I have to face both of these.
Oh yeah, so the guy who guards the vault is in another room, so you can replenish on everything in here. Now if you miss out, he comes back to guard it. That vault guard had come here to save him and he runs in the next room! Well, so much for him. Yeah, so now I'm gonna talk to him. Never mind that, guess what I found? It's a gold coin! A gold coin! And it's all mine! Oh, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. A wake-up pin. Very good. Yeah, we'll use... So the, uh, so the wake-up pin prevents sleep, but the pins in this game can also uh, increase defense and special defense. So sometimes it's like... Good, it's sometimes it's good to keep uh, uh, to keep equipping different uh, pins. Now that was really scary. Everyone's hiding in the princess's bedroom. I and some others couldn't escape in time. Hope no one got hurt. We'll see on the off chance if I actually manage to get to the next level. I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna hit a hit a ceiling here. The upcoming boss fight I don't think I'll I'll hit the next level for. Saved by Mario again. How could I ever thank you enough? Not so fast, pal! Look at him, can't even bounce! Hey, maybe we can bounce on his head! I assume that's their voices. Just straight up blanket assumption. Some weird version of the Three Stooges. What else would it be? Nyah, nyah, nyah. Watch it, long head. Saved by Mario again. How could I ever thank you enough? You're in one piece. Thanks to Mario, of course. Saved by Mario again. How could I ever thank you enough? Oh, I feel like I've heard this before. Oh no, the Chancellor's still in the throne room. What? That's terrible. But with Mario around, we're, 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 we're safe, right? You bet. There we go now. Hey, wait. Hang on for a sec, okay? See, it's good to be positive, because you get rewarded for your positivity. Please take this. The princess will be happy to know you have something of hers. A flower tab. Yeah! More flower tabs for the flower god. I'm scared. You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? And then she just... She, uh, replenishes your HP. Alright, good opportunity to save. Eleven. Oh, I can totally hit level five before the fight. Eleven to go, that's simple. That's easy. Easy street. Clean it up, Mallow. That's the spirit. 
Ah, level five. Aw, oh, I gotta do this again? Just for Mallow, just for Mallow. Should be enough? Maybe I need to do one more. Yeah, I gotta do one more. Four experience points behind. It is just brutal. Four experience points behind Mario. There we go. Level five. Level five. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, level five. Okay, so let's replenish real quick. And we'll save up, and then it's time for the first big boss battle. We've had two small boss battles. Comes with new music. And a reward at the end. everyone went well gang looks like we have ourselves a new hall we can bounce around all day long and there's no one here who can stand in our way yahoo let's bounce the night away not so fast pal look at him can't even bounce hey maybe we could bounce on his head yuck, 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 yuck. and then there's this asshole Listen up, gang! These guys are gonna put a step to our party! Are we happy about this? You're asking for it! Oh, you're gonna get it! You picked the wrong people not to bounce with, bub! And I have a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache! So, the boss and four shysters. Mario is gonna focus entirely on Mac. So I believe he has 400 hit points. Max stunned! Flame wall. Eh, a respectable amount of damage. Nothing to worry about. And another flame wall. There are some excellent remixes of this uh, music out there. Just saying, for your information. Uh, we're gonna heal. And that's it! Down! Like a sack of potatoes. 20 coins, 12 experience points. And our first prize! Tell him what he's won, Johnny! Alright, straight from the Star Road itself, it's a star piece! This blue star piece happens to be one of seven that have been lost thanks to the actions of Smithy, the giant sword currently in Bowser's keep. A prize package worth... Well, we don't know. It's, uh, kind of invaluable. Star piece is one of seven.
This is not good. This is not good. The mustachioed one is strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. Come on. Brain Loot Gaming has never seen this game played before. Oh, my dude. Dude, my dude. My dude. This is like one of my favorite games ever. I am happy to play this. Mario! <laughs> Once again, Mario to the rescue. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're all right. Mario, so it was you who got us through all of this. We owe much to you. Yes, yes, you do. Yes, you do. But let's fade out and fade back in to discuss the plot. First the princess and now this. It's just too much to bear. Mario, how about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything. Excuse me, but who are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well, any friend of Mario's is welcome here in Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. <laughs> Mario, please! You must rescue the princess now! Mario, I'm in your debt, too. Let's head over to Grandpa's place in Tadpole Pond. He can help. Wait, why did he even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. Uh... Could Mac, the sword-like monster who crashed into Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move on towards the Kero Sewers. So off we go, but not without stopping at the store first. Done everything I can do in this game up to this point. Except save, of course. Saving is important. There we go. All my hit points and flower points are restored anyway, because it was after a big boss battle. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Hey, mister, I got my coin back. Oh, well done, lad. Okay, here's the thing I promised you. There, make sure it doesn't get stolen, eaten, or whatever. Your grandpa needs it, okay? Got a cricket pie. You bet. Mario, thank you so much. Grandpa will be delighted. A pie with crickets in it. And I've heard that crickets are chock full of protein. And there is a product you can get where you can... That are... They're saltine crackers that are made out of crickets. Well, specifically cricket flour. Cricket-based flour. And they're called crickers. This is the entrance. Grandpa says to watch out for... Bellome. Bellame? To watch out for Bellame, whoever that is. It's probably a little dark down there, so keep alert. So we proceed through the sewers that are inevitably attached to Mushroom Kingdom, so... Yep, just gonna swim in the sewage. Very good. Very clean-looking sewer. These instructions. Read directions on how to enter? Yes. Stand on the pipe and push down on the control pad. If you are pressing several buttons at the same time, you will not be able to enter. To re-enter a pipe, jump off once and try again. Okay, okay. Uh, it's been a while since I was in the Karo sewers. The last time I played this game was four years ago. Now, I did say I know this game like the back of my hand. I did say that. That is a thing that I said. What I'm trying to remember is the location. Let's start from the top. Pretty sure I can go this way. I can. Can I keep going? I can. So eventually I want to get into that pipe down there. But right now I do not. I think this is where I want to be. Yes. So occasionally you run into an enemy that is in a treasure box. 
the Pandorite in this case. Ironically, super weak to the jump. A regular enemy using flame wall? Yes, in this game it's possible. Ooh, that hurt. That's 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 a concern. Except we killed him, so it's not a concern. So I get a flower jar and a healthy amount of experience points for my efforts and a true form pin. This will be useful in the fight coming up. can't go that way. That's all right. I'll go the other way. No, 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 no. Let's go this way. There's an invincibility star around here somewhere. I think it's up here. I just gotta avoid the rats. Here we go. Oh, just a frame short. All right. So, Rat Funks are their names, and then uh, the Hobgoblin. That was literally his, his attack, just like... Like some kind of, I don't know, like aggressive rooster. Here, though. Where was I? I was. Okay. Then I do want to go here. Let's fight a... Let's, let's get spooky and fight a ghost. So, pure water defeats the big boo. And then there's just a shadow of Whatever on whatever it's supposed to be. A shadow of its former self, and it only, I think, with these you can only use special attacks. I believe. Endo bubble. Ugh. Ah, yes. It's just a fear based attack. Cuts your attack in half. Not fun. But it only lasts for the... No, status ailments only last for the duration of the battle. Which is a nice touch for Mario RPG, I think. Okay, we're gonna do one more. pin you can equip that will prevent fear called the fear less pin ooh that's rough 
this shouldn't change anything because he's already, yeah, he's already hurting. Oh, I was wrong. You can't attack them. The water has been drained. So they're talking specifically about the water here. Oh, let's fight the, the cheap cheap. Which is somehow floating in the air. Oh, it's a goby. My mistake. Here, so we're going down here. case. I think I'd just be backtracking if I did go there. So let's put on the true form pin. And there he is. Bellame. Balome. That this must be Bellame. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? <laughs> it's a snack attack and you're it. All right. So... Bellame, the giant yellow dog thing. Oh, is he weak to the Thunderbolt? I can't remember. Eh, acceptable. Ooh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Stick for a body, head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow. Rah, rah, rah. The scare, the scrow funk. So he just spits on me. And there I would have turned into a scarecrow, which meant I could only uh, perform special attacks. True form Pim prevents that. So 51 and 52, so roughly 100 HP every turn. Can't stand it. The hunger. The hunger. Oh, good. Just gonna squish Mallow right out of him. That was scary. I'm not clear on if he has a... Ooh, the sleep sauce. No, thank you. No, no. Stay away. But I have the wake-up pin, so it's fine. If you defeat me, you still won't beat me. Beware of the flood. <laughs> and that's it. Bellamy must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Yeah, Mario, do you hear something, or is it just me? Water! Here it comes! Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away! And now, one of my favorite minigames ever. Although I'm not, I'm certainly no expert at it, it's just fun. This is the Midas River Course. Want a crash course on it? Yes. You'll start off first with the falls. Use the control pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps as to what will happen. We'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go. 
So for this strategy, the Midas coins are, are uh, you can, like, they're not regular coins. You trade them all in for uh, frog coins. So I'm going to try to get, grab as many regular frog coins as I can. And I will go through this course again because every tunnel is a side... Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh well, them's the brakes. Okay, now careful. There we go. Just like that, just like that, and a little just like that. And then I just relax. Alright, so now for the barrel jumping event. Yes, give me pointers. Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Seth, I didn't know you left! Jump out on the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you lose coins. Four, four, so there's three rows of barrow, barrels. And then it switches direction. And then you want to hit this next coin. Crash. And repeat. And there we go. That's as many coins you can get during the barrel jumping. I got a lot. You got 87 coins. Trade the coins you got from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones, and the Tapple Pond's got more info on them. You got 87, so you'll get one frog coin for your trade in. Hold your 27 extras. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck the Knock Knock Shell. So that is actually Mario's next. Weapon increases attack by 10. Hey Riri, how's it going? Welcome to the welcome to the new welcome to the stream. Now, as I mentioned on various social medias, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays are selections from the gaming den. So anything in my gaming library, which is a lot, is played on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, Seth is showing off the new emote that just got approved yesterday. Uh, that's uh, artwork from Spunky Nugget. Okay, so we're going to go through this, this course one more time. as there is quite the benefit to going through here. So A... So I want to go through... Whoa, okay. I want to go to E. H. Take me out to F. Oh, okay. 
I. So I want to go on the right. Okay. So. Yes. I want to go. Good, good. Everything going well up at the up at the home front? The homestead? All is well in the land of my uh, in the land known as my hometown. Gotta go see a Grizzly. All right, Seth. Thanks for thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Always appreciate uh, hanging out with you and talking to you and discussing gaming. Okay, so yeah, I want to go on the right for this one. So we're gonna collect the coins again, and I want to skip that tunnel. get a flower here. So this is just a small cutscene. Oh, did I misread that? I think I misread that. Well, that's okay. Let's go with this one all the way on the right here. I know one of these. There we go. That's what I wanted. As Riri can attest, I played this game a lot in our living room growing up. Alright, we've gone over the pointers already for the barrel jumping event, so. Switch! Oh, got me. Forgot to jump there. That's alright. The flower was why I went. I really wanted to get that flower. Four and that's it. Do 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 the tutorial again. Oh, silly me. Silly, silly me. Off you go. Pretty sure this one doesn't have anything in it, which is fine, because it'll take me out over there, and I want to take a hard left. There we go. Oh. 
Okay. I think that's gonna be all she wrote for this round. Thanks. <clears throat> I'll do this one more time because there's a frog coin I can get in one of the other caves. And two, and there should be one more. And switch places. One more time. I am going for... Okay. I know exactly where I'm going. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Goombas are eating a fish for dinner. Well, isn't that special? Alright, last time, then we'll move on to Tadpole Pond. One of your all-time faves, and mine as well, Andy Man. Welcome to the stream. I haven't played this game in four years. Four years too... It's too many years between playing this game. And I'm playing on the SNES Classic, which I've never... i never played this game on there before, so I'm very curious to see if there's any differences that I notice between this one and the console version. This last, this last run was just a toss away. I wanted that frog coin. So I get another one anyway! I should have a total of 10. Ooh, nice. That is a good, healthy amount of frog coins to have. Buy the good stuff with that. All right. Tadpole Pond, onwards to the plot!
Hi, can I help you? Mal, it's you! We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Be Bellamy, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody! You'll never guess who's here! He's a real thing, but he doesn't look like anything I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor? Okay, that was a higher jump than normal. Come on. Chitters excitedly. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look I'm floating here, okay? Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. I heard people use something called a door to go in and out of their houses. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear, full reverse. Tadpoles, don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. Music for this game is just... It's just superb. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes. And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if you only knew the truth, Toadstool is no longer there. Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here's what happened. You are rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. Whoosh! Out of the blue! The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now. You're worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. Hmm. Hmm. This may sound illogical, but I leave shooting stars can grant wishes, and now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much for to absorb? Would you like a recap? Sure! Okay, here's the gist of it. Smithy invaded our world and took over Bowser's Keep. Toadstool and Bowser were thrown by the impact, and now Smithy and his cohorts are on a rampage. The shooting stars are somehow connected to this disturbance, and they're the key to defeating Smithy. Would you like me to repeat that? No. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac was only the f first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallo, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure, too. Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Mallo, my boy, I've kept this from you until now, but you're not a tadpole. Say what? I was sitting here one day, one rainy day, enjoying a snack of crickets when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Mallow was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic, and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm... I'm not... a tadpole? <laughs> Mallow, now is not the time to cry! 
Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there. Somewhere. Psst, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town where they need your help. Oh, we're not done. It'll be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. That's right, I'd forgotten all about it. I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. Uh, I know, you shall have the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. I mean, we'll equip it. It's not going to do us much good, because... His attack is still pretty weak sauce. Alright. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky, my favorite song. It's Frog Fuchsia's Suite Number 18. So la mi, re do, re do, re. Todovsky's fond of it too. So la mi. Play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. I think this is right. No, that's really close. Is that something you composed? It's remarkably similar to what I have in mind. Yeah, the first two are wrong. I think it starts on the bottom, or close to the bottom. I almost goofed it up. There we go. That's gotta be it. Yep. That's it! This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. At least take this as a token of my gratitude. An alto card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu! Ha <gasps> ha! I love Todovsky's design. It is one of the most unique Toad style. Uh, one of the most unique Toads. So, Alto Card, I can use. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up, the green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them and you can buy the items at Tadpole Pond. So I can get the Sleepy Bomb, the Bracer, the Energizer, the Crystalline, and the Part, and the Power Blast. So raise everybody's attack, raise everybody's defense, one person's attack, one person's defense, or put enemies to sleep. I'm going to opt to not do this. There is a shop coming up later where there's an accessory I want real bad. Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Ah, an alto card holder. What would you like? So you can get the froggy drink and the elixir. So the party recovers 30 HP or 80 HP. So well, one froggy drink is certainly more than enough. 951. All right. Well, we're, we're probably going to get to Rose Town by the time I got to call the stream good at 10. I do have a hard a hard stop at 10. Uh, I have to go to work tonight, so. We're just gonna kind of float through Roseway here. Come on, there we go, that's what I wanted.
the Doom Reverb. Which is a silencing attack. Which prevents you from committing specials. I might as well show off the froggy stick. The pollen nap. Oh man, now he's just straight up asleep. And he's all better. Level six, yeah, about time. The super jump, oh, the super jump. Yes. Doom reverb. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Psychopath, which is a nice little tool for finding out remaining HP. And if you time it right, you get this you get to learn the secret. for a frog coin, baby. Do, do, do. Okay, get the flower here. Oh, no, 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 there's more to collect. I can... Don't run away. Don't run away! Damn it. Those guys have a lot of coins on them. If you're fast enough to defeat them, they will unleash a lot of coins. Oh, yeah. So, if you fight... This guy five times to give you a frog coin, so we're gonna do that. Might not get through uh, this area before the end of the stream, though. I think it's safe to say that's not gonna happen. 
So see if we can get this frog coin and then I'll call it good for the evening. And we'll pick this back up on Thursday. do these guys have? Seventy-eight. Hold still, okay? sure that I can't do that much damage. No, not even close. Not even close. You guys are just gonna run away anyway. Yeah, it wasn't a mush. It was just a mushroom. I was doing all that work for a frog coin. Well, joke's on me, I guess. All right. Well, like I said, hard stop at ten o'clock, unfortunately. So. I'm going to go ahead and hit up a save point at the Midas River, and we're going to call it good for today. So there are Selections from the Bear Den, Volume 1 of however many I feel like doing over the course of streaming. I have a lot of games, and I'd love to play them all. I don't know. We'll get to them. There's a lot to get to. So, um, so yeah. So big thanks to Seth Support for uh, talking with me tonight and for the hosting. And thanks to King Andy Man and Brain Loot Gaming and my Riri and Cody for all stopping by. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, stream is going to resume tomorrow at 7 o'clock for some Animal Crossing. Didn't do too much today in Animal Crossing, so there will be a lot of customization and building going on tomorrow. And uh, just catching up in general. See where the turnip prices are going, because looking like it's going up. So we'll see. So until next time. Keep it crispy, watch for deer, and I'll see you next time.